In this video, we'll talk about competences which teachers should have in order to set up and run CBL activities. According to UNESCO, a teacher's profile is defined as a set of competences that include abilities, aptitudes and skills, attitudes and values that are put into practice in the classroom to teach students to build their knowledge and competences to perform in the workplace. So we can ask ourselves, what are the characteristics that a teacher should consider when setting up and running challenge-based learning? According to our research, there is little literature about this specific topic, and if you do find information, it's often reported in general terms. For example, competences like technological skills, guidance skills, lifelong learning skills, and personal characteristics are mentioned. This is interesting, but maybe not specific enough in order to help us understand which concrete competences are needed and what they entail. We therefore had a look a little bit beyond the frontiers of CBL and found that characterization of the teaching profile within the framework of Education 4.0 was a good and inspiring reference. As you have learned before, your role as a teacher in CBL is no longer to be the one person who only shares knowledge. You're supposed to be a co-designer, coach, facilitator, who promotes reflection and brings knowledge closer to the student's reality. According to the research of Ramirez Montella and her colleagues, the competences of a teacher's profile include the competence to be a facilitator with soft skills, a human sense and technological competences. Therefore, Teachers setting up and running CBL activities should be a facilitator coach co-learner who brings knowledge closer to the student's reality, have soft skills like leadership, communication, critical thinking, creativity and leisure activities, have a human sense like empathy, organization, ethical commitment and social intelligence, and have technology management skills and knowledge like digital transformation, research, innovation, and entrepreneurship. To sum up, the ideal teacher should have the following competences. First, to be able to design strategies for competence-based training activities, such as CBL, through active learning methods. Second, to have soft skills such as reasoning for complexity, ethical and citizen commitment, social intelligence, capacity for self-management, inclusion, and respect for diversity, social responsibility, and innovative entrepreneurship. Third, to have a human sensitivity and train students to develop ethical behavior and social intelligence, integrating the educational environment and the society. Fourth, to use technologies and to apply new tools that facilitate learning through virtuality, artificial intelligence, digital technologies and educational applications.